When a learner first walks in and sees this mannequin, it's just this plastic doll lying on a stretcher. And they accept it as that, as a plastic doll lying on a stretcher. Once the scenario begins and the patient becomes sick, and it's their responsibility to address that situation and improve it, they suspend disbelief and all of a sudden that mannequin becomes a real patient. As students, sometimes we are not the ones at the bedside doing things in an emergency. In a sim lab, they are the first line of defense for that patient and so they are the ones who are giving the medications, they are the ones who are documenting what's going on, they are answering physician questions where in a real hospital as a nursing student you're in the corner maybe helping the family maybe running to get things and maybe just unplugging that defibrillator. A simulation center like this allows you to just practice the same thing over and over again on the mannequins and I think it's great because you can't practice the same thing over and over again on a, on a real patient. There's family in the room there are doctors in and out, your orders are changing, the monitor's going off, um, the patient changes, the family gets upset, and you are dealing with all of that at once and that can become very stressful. We can gradate the chaos so that they have a chance to learn how to deal with this and how to do good patient care in the midst of a lot of noise and a lot of activity. Afterwards, we go to a room which we refer to as the debriefing room. In that room, we can show them videotape, of what they did, how the patients reacted. We can talk about it. This is where our students do very deep learning.